Okay, so today I want to show a little bit about um, some stuff that's going to help for the lab. The, uh, the lab asks you to do prediction versus confidence intervals for the response. Um, and I'm going to show that I'm going to show that with the lipid data set that we've used in class a couple of times. The idea is that a confidence interval for the response is for an average, and a prediction interval is for an individual point. So a prediction interval is wider than a confidence interval. Um, if I want to do that for a particular problem, uh, what I want to do is I want to add the data points into the bottom. So let's say I want uh, to do this with cholesterol of uh, 257, and let's choose this thing at 84 or something. So I'm just going to add those in. And if you've already created your model, you'll have to recreate the model after you add these points into the bottom of your data set. Um, and then you'll want to go to Analyze, Choose Fit Model. And let's say I'm going to use uh, the, so I'm using the, those two items that I just added X variables into. And I'm also going to add, let's say we're going to predict age based on those things. And if I run this, then I'll get a particular model for it. Um, and if I do a save columns, you can see that they have a mean confidence interval and a individual confidence interval. So an individual confidence interval is like, um, is like for a predicted interval and then a mean confidence interval is for like the average. Okay. So the default is to do this at a 95% confidence level. If you want to do it at a different level, you're going to hit like control and alt. So if you hit control and alt, and then you go up and hit the red arrow. Oops. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's control and shift. Control and shift. And then you go to save columns. And if you choose the mean, it'll give you an alpha level. So if you want to build a 99%, then you're just going to change this to like 0.01. If you want to build a 98%, you'll change it to 0.02. You say OK. And if you go back to your data set, you'll notice that they add those intervals uh, for every single observation that you have in the data set. And then it's also at the very bottom. So you can see here's my interval for that last um, set of data. And I can do the exact same thing. So this one's for the mean. So that's a mean interval. And I could do it for an individual observation rather than the average. That interval will just be wider. And I do it the exact same way. I just choose the uh, prediction interval from that output there. So if I did the same thing, I do control and shift. And I do a save columns, and I do an individual confidence interval, and I choose maybe 0.01 or something. It'll add that onto my data set, and you can see that it's much larger than the original one that I did. OK, so hopefully this helps with the lab. In case that you couldn't make it to class, I think there might be a homework problem or something on this too. OK, thanks.